So what do we use R for in Vim? I am so glad that you asked because it is one of my favorites. It's a little bit bizarre, but we use R for replacing things. And there are two really fun ways to use it. Welcome back to this short tour through Vim. I'm Chantastic. And today we're talking about R in our journey through Vim A to Z. Today, we're going to open up a new file that I made called ascii.txt. And I wanna use this to show you R. R is one of my favorites just because it's a little bit kooky, but it is awesome. We can use it to replace letters. So we'll use the lowercase r to replace some letters here. Right here, I have a lowercase t, and I like to make that an uppercase t. I can do that by using lowercase r and a capital T. Now, one thing you'll notice is that at no point did we enter insert mode. So we can only use this for one character, but it's nice because now I am still in command mode. I can navigate um, without having to escape out. So that's a big advantage there. So I'm gonna navigate to this other one, do RC, not in insert mode, so I can continue to issue other commands. We'll change this to a capital M, good to go. So that's lowercase r. I wanna show you some of the benefits of uppercase r and this is where it gets a little bit kooky the reason that i wanted to show you this ascii file is because i use uppercase r a lot in editing these types of like little ascii graphics that i have in readme's now one area that i would do this is that i want to add a little divider here and i can use capital r to put myself into replace mode so this is kind of like insert mode but it's actually replacing characters it's writing over characters so i can do a plus here i can do some more dashes and a uh, another plus to end that intersection now you'll notice that as i delete back through this the previous characters are retained so that's a really cool thing about this mode is you can back up and um, kind of see what was under there before now, another thing that is useful in these types of uh, graphics is that I can use replace mode to replace the content here. So if I redo C to enter insert mode to delete this, it's gonna delete all the way here. So it deleted that, that part of the line. Um, and so I can add my stuff, but then I have to add all the spaces back and do that. That is a little bit cumbersome. However, I can use replace mode and do some content and just write over that without affecting the boundary here. Um, so it's a little bit kooky how capital R works, but I love it. And you'll find that um, if you do stuff like this, where you have kind of content that you want to keep, or there's some, some fixed widths, uh, this happens a lot in readme's. This is a great way to replace content without having to constantly be editing these uh, boundaries and adding space and whatnot. Anyway, I love R. R is kind of bizarre and awesome, and I love it for all of those reasons. So if you wanna learn more about R, just capital or colon H, R will get you into R. And there's some, some things that we didn't cover. Uh, I don't actually use these, but maybe they these variations will be useful to you. So that's all about R. That is the simple explanation of R. If you have anything that uh, you use R for and would like to share, please put that in the comments below. Uh, I will add a playlist link to the description so you can see all of the other amazing letters that we covered. Tomorrow we'll be diving into S, which is kind of like C and D, but like a little bit different.